Well, here's those bluets I picked. These two on the left are uh, the ones I picked under the the spruce and the cedar. And these two on the right are the ones I picked from on, uh, out of those oak leaves. And just because there's a little variation in color, I'm going to go ahead and spore print both of them. That way I can compare the two spore prints and make sure I'm harvesting what I think I am. And what I'll do for these bigger ones, I took a bigger one and a smaller one of each. Just take and trim it pretty low, trim the stem, and uh, so it sits right up just over the surface of a paper plate or a piece of clear glass or a piece of construction paper and I went ahead and I don't have anything black but it's nice to have a white and black contrast for your spore print so I just took a magic marker and kind of colored a section black as much as I could to try and get a little contrast in there so I can compare the color of that print and once you do that just take a uh, a bowl or something and just sit over top and that'll help keep a little bit of the moisture in and um, keep the air from blowing around and let those spores settle right on that paper plate and you can should be able to get a nice spore print that way and we'll look at it later when it's uh when it's taken to that paper plate these are bluets again should be a buff light tan colored spore print all right well i figured i'd show this real quick this is this those bluets that I took the spore print from, I just wanted to show the color of the spore print. Hopefully it'll show up. This is uh, the next day at about noon, so maybe 12, 14 hours later. This one didn't seem to throw off much of a spore print. It could be because it's still quite small and young. You can tell the margin of the cap is still enrolled quite a bit there. But the other, three other ones did. There's the three mushrooms, or four mushrooms in there. And then right there's the spore print. And the three that lay the spore print all came out that buff color, which is, like I said, just like a you know light color, light colored uh, Caucasian flesh. No rust brown or white or anything else that I need to worry about. I can see a little bit of the print of that. One it wouldn't take, didn't take right here, but it just left a very small amount. This black marker didn't work out good. For the bluet, it's actually best if you can have a black background, solid black. You can see the uh, color of that print better on black because it's pretty light. These sat for a while, so they look maybe a little dark, but it's because it's a real heavy print. Anyway, figured I'd just show you that, so wood blew it, spore print.